Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, we're back at it. Going to have a little bit of fun today with uh, the brand new Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye. Yes. But before we dive into Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye, uh, I want to give a huge shout out to my newest patrons, my good friend Robert S. and John A. So Robert and John, thank you, gentlemen, for supporting the Bourbon Judge, as well as I should say thank you for all my patrons, men and ladies as well. So I really appreciate all the support and all the love from all my patrons. You guys and ladies help for all this to come to fruition. So thank you. Thank you. And if I didn't say it enough, thank you. Um, also want to say thank you for all the subscribers as well for watching the channel. All right. So this is the brand new 2023 barrel proof rye whiskey coming from Jack Daniels. So kind of think back. So the original release for the barrel proof rye whiskey came out in 2020. This boy, bad boy right here. And let's just say it was absolutely amazing. Everyone who tasted this, well, I should say everyone, but everyone that I know <laughs> who tasted this love this whiskey. Hence the reason why I've been nurturing it. I've been having like a little, little sip at a time. But now with the new one that came out, now I'm ready to go really in on this bad boy. But uh, no, all jokes aside, so the uh, single barrel barrel proof rye came out in 2020, limited edition. And it, honestly, it was a hot commodity, right? I mean, it really was. And when I reviewed it, I absolutely flat out loved it. So in my opinion, it's definitely up there with like um, my other two favorite barrel proof rye whiskeys um, from distilleries are would be definitely like the Michter's barrel strength rye, but then also Old Forester barrel strength rye. It's up there. It's at that level. I mean, it's a fantastic, this is a fantastic bottle. Fast forward to just May of 2023. Uh, Jack Daniels just recently announced that they're putting this out as like a permanent new, let's call it release, which is great. So this won't be a, you know, let's call it a quote unquote, you know, where they took three years. This will be part of like their standard production. So I'm happy about that. So this is a brand new uh, 2023 uh, release. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to find this in my market. So even though it's supposed to be like a new release that's supposed to be, you know, on shelves and so forth, we truly don't know whether or not if it'll be sitting on shelves like the barrel strength uh, whiskey does that we can pretty much find all over. So, but for now, definitely very allocated, hard to find, but it's supposed to make its way on the different on shelves where we can hopefully find it at least a little bit easier than um, than it was like with this one-time release. So it's supposed to be a, a normal release, as we say. Uh, but a huge shout out to my good friend and one of my patrons, my buddy Tab. Tab out in, um, down in uh in texas tab was like judge do you need a bottle of it i'm like absolutely i do i want to get it on the channel so thanks tab for uh you know giving me this bottle or sending it over to me i really do appreciate it because again could not find this by me in delaware or jersey and so forth all right i'm gonna go ahead and pour this bad boy so this is a brand new one let me go ahead and pop this one open Woo! all right move that over there so msrp MSRP on this one is about $60, 60, 65. I think uh, Tab got this for me. I think I ended up paying him back about 75 bucks, I think it was, with tax and so forth. And, you know, a little markup, but not too much, which is not bad. So, 60, 65 dollars, but with tax, you're looking at closer to about, honestly, about 75 dollars if you find a bottle. Um, proof standpoint. So, because these are all single barrels, so your proof is going to, there's going to be a range. And they, Jack Daniels said that the range is anywhere from 125 proof up to 145 proof. So for my single barrel, this one comes in at exactly 137.3 proof. So 137.3 proof. And as we know, there's no exact age statement. Uh, Jack Daniels does give you, they, they do give you rather the date, the barrel date or the bottle date rather, the date that they actually bottle the whiskey. So my bottling date is uh, March 31st, 2023. So that's my bottling date. All right. So I'm gonna dive into this bad boy and let's go ahead and just pour this one as well. At the end, I'm gonna compare it to the 2020 release just to see which one's better or are they about the same? My guess would be they're about the same, but you never know. You never know, friends. All right, real quick, three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, uh-oh, cap down. <laughs> we'll have to get that later. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know what are your thoughts on Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye Whiskey. And uh, last but not least, please make sure you also hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notification each and every time I release new content. Cool? All right. Let's dive into this bad boy. So highly allocated for now. Hard to find. Oh my gosh, that nose though. Goodness gracious. Hard to find, but supposed to be a normal release. 
that eventually we'll be able to walk in, look at the shelf, right next to the barrel strength uh, whiskey that they always have, find the actual barrel strength rye. At some point, that's what they're saying. So highly allocated for now. What is this bad boy all about? All right, we don't know the age. If I had a guess though, typical Jack Daniels, five, six, seven year range. Mm. Last thing, mash bill. So the mash bill on this bad boy, 70% rye, 18% corn, 12% malted barley. All right, so from a no standpoint, and this is a fresh crack, obviously. Wow, it's still very deep, rich, like graham cracker, almost like a spicy graham cracker, like a, a graham cracker meets like, a, um, like some spice, like some pepper, some mint, some bananas. Oh my gosh. The one thing I remember about this one as well, it's sweet, it's spicy, and it's sexy. Literally, it's a triple S. <laughs> and the nose on this one is right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Tab, thank you, thank you, thank you for hooking me up, my friend. Really appreciate this one. Oh, man, that graham cracker, that banana, that pepper, a little bit of mint. Oh, this is some real... Oh, this nose is like for real. Oh, my goodness. All right, my friends. Hey, I just want to say thank you again for everyone watching the channel week in, week out. All my patrons, all my subscribers. I appreciate, honestly, uh, all the love from everyone. Much love and respect, everyone. Cheers. Whoo. Mm. That's definitely hot. Damn. That went down way too quick. Hold on, let me get a little bit more. Woo! Wow. That has some fire to it. Wow. <laughs> I almost uh, teared up. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Wow, what is this, 130? No. 137 okay 137.3 all right that definitely sips like a 137.3 it's very much oh mm. wow all right i'll pour a little bit more because i want to compare it to the 2020 it's definitely a bit on the hot side but again this is the initial neck pour that i just had um hasn't had a chance to kind of breathe air out and just kind of you know have some time to sit here a little bit so it's truly a fresh crack but what i will say is everything in the nose matches the palate the only thing that's a little bit different it's not as sweet in the palate as it is more peppery that's the only key probably almost difference from what i remember about this one this was a slightly a bit sweeter maybe but it's also lower proof this bottle it's 132.4, so a little bit lower, about five proof points lower. Um, I remember this being a little bit sweeter. This is a lot more spicy, more peppery, more bold, and more robust. I mean, this is like, it's not Koi Hill level, but it's damn near close to Koi Hill level, for real. Woo, that was some fire. Oh my goodness. But you will ask me, Judge, even though that's hot, is that worth the price point, the eight, 75, 80 bucks, right? Flat out, hands down, absolutely. It's definitely a bit more, like I said, bold and robust than I would have thought it would have been, but it's definitely cast strength, Jack Daniels, barrel proof rye whiskey, day in, day out. The nose definitely did match the palate. Tons of like the graham cracker notes, tons of the banana, a little bit more peppery, a little bit more minty, um, and a lot more bold in the palate and the finish that was there in the nose. So it's kind of surprised me a little bit. It sneaked up on me a little bit, a lot more peppery in the, in the palate. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of this, and then I'm gonna go over to the uh, 2020, just to see, you know, which one's better, if you will. Mm. Obviously, the 2020 has had, well, hell, three years, you know, so it's obviously had its time to air out. So that's something to be considered, too. Whew. That's powerful. But I like it. <laughs> Even though it's summertime, that's powerful. And I like that a lot. I can't lie. That is pretty damn special. Mm. 
All right, let's move over to the 2020 release. Let's see the difference, if any at all. Mm, yeah. See, this has had several years in the bottle. It's not nearly, this is a lot sweeter on the nose as I see, as I remembered as well. Way sweeter on the nose compared to this one. All right, here we go. Wow. That, this bottle is so good. <laughs> All right, key differences. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's good. Wow, that's really, really good. So key differences. Of course, this bottle has been open for a couple of years. Um, this to me is a grand slam. This was a home run, but this is a grand slam. Because it's been open for a while, it's had some time to breathe and so forth. For me, I do think that once this 2023 has had a chance to kind of breathe for a little bit, once I pour, you know, obviously some more out a little bit, share, you know, share some with some friends, I do think over time this will definitely be a lot more well balanced. If I'm giving the edge to just one over the other, I mean, I'm picking, we're talking about slim margins. The 2020 is way more, way more well rounded and much more of an overall pleasant experience. But again, it's aired out for almost three years. This one, I just cracked two minutes ago. So I'm giving the edge to 2020, but either way, you're not going to be disappointed even if you find the 2023. If you find it at a decent price, absolutely pick it up. Don't go crazy. If you see it on the shelf for like three, four, five hundred dollars, let's not go there. Um, but definitely at MSRP or even slightly above MSRP, absolutely worth the buy. All right, my friends, until the next time, peace, cheers, and most important, salute. Take care.